Hello, my name is Steve and I'd like to share with you how I make a classical guitar bridge. This bridge blank needs to be 8 millimeters thick. I will achieve that by employing this device I made. What I pointed at there is the stop where the work will rest. And this item is a bar that is about 8 millimeters tall and I have two of them. Upon these bars, the hand plane will rest and glide. And the space that's left over will be 8 millimeters after everything's all said and done. Next, I will trim the bridge to length. I've laid out a line there on the bridge. Those are magnets in this square block that I've made with the stop. And the magnets will hold the saw in a vertical position and help me hold it square to the line as I cut. to put some reference lines on the bridge and I'll wrap them all around and I'll use these lines as I do all of my cutting, filing, grooving, what have you during the rest of the bridge construction. You will notice my camera case featured prominently in several scenes of this video. Please pay no attention. I've laid out some marks for my strings, the high and low E, and I'm going to use this device to lay out all of the rest of the holes for the strings in the bridge. Using a square and a punch, I will mark all of the holes vertically and prepare for drilling. The piece of tape will help me control the depth of the hole. Use a scale to set the depth of the plow. Now you can see all of the holes that I drilled earlier peeking through. I like to use actual materials to lay out dimensions when possible. These are inlays for the tie block. At this point, I'm done with the plow plane, and you can see all of the grooves that I've cut with that tool. Off screen, I have used a bandsaw to establish the size of the bridge wings, and I will cross cut the excess material here.
I'm now shaping the bridge ramp with the mini plane. The completion of the bridge ramp will require many different tools and many different steps to complete. The bridge ramp is starting to take shape, but there's still lots of work to do. These safe edge files are wonderful for cleaning up the rough edges. I will shape the bridge wings with rasp, file, and scrapers. Here I'm checking my work and making sure that all of my edges appear even and straight and I uh, will continue to make adjustments and refine the shape as needed. I'm unclamping the tie block inlays and you can see the method I use to attach them during glue up. The inlay pieces must be trimmed and fitted and filed and polished just like everything else. If you're wondering about this tool, it is a custom scraper that I made that was just the right shape for the uh, area of the bridge there, and I made that out of a Japanese saw blade. It's been very handy.
here are several views of the bridge in its completed state. Before I glue this bridge to the top of a guitar, I will have to curve it here and create an arch shape for it to fit properly to the arch of the top. One of the many challenges of creating a video like this is just figuring out how to use the equipment. So you can see in this fine photograph I don't have my timer set properly. In this next photograph I'm kind of out of focus and there's a little clutter. I'm still out of focus and that water bottle is just bugging me. This looks a little better but I have a paper towel roll coming out of the side of my neck here. I guess this will have to do. And if you look carefully, you can see a picture of my daughter when she was one day old up there in my toolbox. It's so nice. Well, if you've stuck with this video for this long, you may be interested to know that I teach classical guitar building in my shop. That includes all aspects of making from beginning to end or anything in between that you may be interested in. So if you find this to be of interest to you, please contact me through boomguitars.com and I'll be glad to work out a course of instructions that would meet your needs. So thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.